Welcome to part four of this basic idea scripting tutorial. In this part, I'm going to walk you through how to uh, create or access the file explorer with an idea. Within our project, we want to be able to select an idea file, namely an IMD file, and use it in our uh, script. Uh, so ultimately what will happen is we'll when the script is running, we'll click on select file. It'll open up another uh, dialog that will have a list of all the idea files. We'll select one of those files and that name of the file will be returned to the script. So now I'm just going to walk you through how to create that. What I, first of all, what I'm going to do is able to do this, we have to know what the results are of the button. As I discussed in the previous, uh, one of the previous parts, buttons, when a button is clicked, it returns an integer. If it's an OK button, it returns minus one. If it's a cancel button, it returns zero. And then it will turn the, the number of the button based on the order that it's been added to the script. In this instance, since we only have one additional button that's not the OK or cancel, it will return the number one. So what we want to do is, is add some code to capture what is held in the button or what button has been selected and do something with it. Uh, in this case, what I usually do is I use the select case function based on the button. And then for each of the different alternatives, I'll add some code. So if it's case minus one, that means it's the OK button. If it's case zero, that means it's the cancel button. And if it's case one, then that means it's the file name button has been selected. Now with an idea, there is a functions or there's an object in order for us to, uh, to capture uh, the IMD files. And that's part of the client common dialogues based on uh, version 9 and up of IDEA. So what we will have to do is create a new object to create a new variable to hold the object, the file bar object. And then within the case one, I shall define that. So I'll say set the file bar equal to client dot common dialogues. So the common dialogues was part of version 9 and above. Before that, you'd have to use uh, some other code to, uh, to be able to go get the file bar. But with version 9, idea was nice to us and they made it uh, simpler so that uh, the code becomes relatively easy to, uh, to access. And then all we have to do is go file name equals file bar dot file explorer. So when I select the, the file button number one, what will happen is the dialog will return the button number, number one. It'll skip over to case one. Then from that, I'm going to access the object client.common dialogs. And from within the client, client common dialogs, it'll show the file explorer. The common dialogs also contains the, the save and the open dialogs. So now let's just go see if I'll run the code. So if those, oops, I got a syntax error. And that's because it's s file name and not actually file name. As you can see, uh, the option explicit saved me here. Uh, without the object explicit, it would have run fine, but then I would have ended up uh, having possible problems later on in the script. Now let's try that again. So I'm getting no errors. I'm just going to hit cancel for right now. Hitting cancel, it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a message box to show us what the file name is. Now let's go run this again. I click on select file. It brings up the file explorer. And you may notice the file explorer is the same thing as what's with an idea. It lists all the different files. Uh, we can go down, it's got the pluses. So it's got all the same information as in the file explorer we have with an idea. Then we can just go in and select the file. We'll say sample bag transactions. 
I can click once and click on open or I can just do a double click. And then the message box, it shows me the file that I've selected plus the path information. Now we'll just go back to our, uh, our script. And that, so I'll just get rid of that. So that is how easy it is to add on a file bar to your script. In the next uh, section, I'm going to talk about how, once we've selected the file, how to update the dialog so now it will show the actual name of the file instead of just uh, text. So I'll see you in part five. Thanks.